When I saw this World War II Electro Voice T45 advertised on eBay, I was immediately curious and clicked buy now. It was brand new and unopened and had been in its box in France since 1944. On cutting open the box I was surprised to find the mic sealed in a foil lined envelope. I was even more surprised when I opened the package to find an accompanying bag of silica gel. I had somehow imagined that silica gel was a much more modern invention, but apparently it has been around since 1913 and was in regular use by the American military during World War II. The mic was neatly wrapped and comes with its own classified instructions. Although the audio quality of the T-45 may not be impressive, and even with the breath shield in place, it still suffers a good deal from blasting. It nevertheless delivers a high degree of intelligibility. However, the really clever feature of this microphone, which revolutionised battlefield communications, was its extraordinary ability to cancel out high-level surrounding noise. With the microphone correctly positioned on the top lip, the T45 puts out a strong signal. In order to demonstrate the effectiveness of the noise cancellation, at the end of this sentence, I'll take the mic off and hold it about six inches away from my mouth and continue talking at the same level. The way in which this amazing level of noise cancellation is achieved is both clever and breathtakingly simple. The clue is in these two small holes, one at the front of the mic and one at the back. Sound, even from a few inches away, arriving at the back of the diaphragm will be 180 degrees out of phase with sound arriving at the front and will therefore suffer almost complete cancellation. The voice of the speaker, however, is less than a quarter of an inch from the front of the mic and is therefore largely unaffected. After the war, the T-45 was also taken up by commercial aviation and continued in service for several decades. With more than a million sold, the T-45 was largely instrumental in turning Electrovoice from a small local business before the war into a large corporation with 500 employees by 1946.